Today we are here in Exeter a City with a rich heritage and history. Uh, we will be visiting Exeter Cathedral, the Ship Inn in St. Martin's Lane, the Turk's Head Tavern, the Guildhall, and the narrowest street in Britain, Parliament Street. Religion has always affected history in some way or another, and Exeter has a rich religious tradition. One of the most important English theologians was born in Heavitree Village in 1554. His name was Richard Hooker, and he is now remembered as one of the founders of Anglican theology. A statue of Hooker now stands in front of Exeter Cathedral. Now that we've covered a key historical religious figure in Exeter, let's talk about the cathedral itself. It was founded in 1050, and its official foundation was laid in 1133, but it took many more years to complete. It was eventually finished in 1400, but was damaged during the British Civil War in the mid-17th century. On the 4th of May 1942, an early morning German air raid took place over Exeter, and the cathedral sustained a direct hit by a large high-explosive bomb, completely demolishing the Chapel of St. James. Inside the cathedral, uh, there are military chapels and commemorative plaques remembering the thousands of uh, servicemen who fell in uh, conflicts going back over the centuries. Here we see one that was erected by the officers uh, and non-commissioned officers of the Queen's Royal Lancers who served with the regiment in India. Um, many of these died not only in conflicts but from the diseases and the effects of the climate in India. We are now outside the Ship Inn in St. Martin's Lane. The Ship Inn has played host to many famous historical figures and the following quote by Sir Francis Drake in 1587 can be seen at the inn. Next to mine own ship I do most love that old ship in Exxon, a tavern in Fish Street, as the people call it, or, as the clergy will have it, St. Martin's Lane. There, yes, a yearn, I had some speech with a mariner fresh come from Plymouth. He said the power of Spain is already afloat. So in the morning, please God, I am for Plymouth, and for another ship than this. Sir Walter Raleigh may also have visited the ship and drunk ale with Sir Francis Drake. During the English Civil War, when Exeter was under siege, the Royalist Captain Bennett billeted his troops in the inn, who wrote at the time, I have quartered my men at the ship inn in St. Martin's Lane, and an excellent place with good wine and victuals and forage. Standing in the High Street, the Exeter Guildhall has been the centre of civic government for over 600 years. Much of the building dates back to medieval times, though the elaborate frontage was added in the 1590s and the interior was restored in the 1800s. It has been claimed to be the oldest municipal building in England still in use usually for official receptions, mayoral banquets, and some city council meetings. The Turk's Head has stood in the High Street for a couple of centuries. Charles Dickens met his wife, Catherine, during a visit to Exeter and married her in 1836. They went on to have ten children before they separated in 1858. In the Turk's Head, Dickens thought up several characters based on real people, such as Mrs. Lupin and the Pecksniffs. He also did a reading of Christmas Carol in August 1858 at the Royal Public Rooms, which used to be on the site now occupied by Boots in the High Street. This is Parliament Street, a 50 metres long street linking the High Street in Exeter to Waterbeer Street, which dates from the 14th century. At about 0.64 metres at its narrowest and approximately 1.2 metres at its widest, it is considered 
to be the world's narrowest streets by some of the locals, although this title actually belongs to the Spreihofstrasse in Reutlingen in Germany. It was formerly called Small Lane and was renamed when Parliament was criticised by the City Council for passing the 1832 Reform Bill. In 1836, the residents of Waterbeer Street subscribed £130 to have Parliament Street widened, but, as you can see, the work was never carried out. We finish our brief uh, tour of Exeter uh, in the 400-year-old Northern Hay Gardens. Uh, we've just had a taste of some of the fascinating historical facts about the city. There is evidence of a settlement on the banks of the River X as early as 250 BC, and the evolution of this city from that time would fill a very long television series. Now back to the studio.